productivity system shouldn't feel like a second job. It should help you get things done and you shouldn't have to think about it. It should enable you to complete the tasks that you need to complete every day. A productivity system should help you keep the one brain you already have organized and not create a second one that you have to organize as well. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you my minimalist, simple, three-step productivity system that has changed my life, and I hope you enjoy. The three steps of this productivity system involve collecting data, then processing that data, and the third step is actually getting things done, actually doing the tasks that you set out to do. The first step is collecting data. Throughout the day, we have hundreds and thousands of ideas and thoughts that pop up in our head. A lot of them might actually be good ideas. Now our brain isn't meant to store information, isn't meant to store all these thoughts. It's really good at generating them, but in order to actually store them, you need to write them down somewhere. And that's where the first step comes in, collecting the data. The way I do this is by using an app called TickTick, where I write down every thought and every idea that I think that might be good, that could be useful in the future for me. I also write down every task that I need to complete. For example, menial tasks like cleaning my room, also more important tasks like actually doing homework or something like that. Now, there are a bunch of apps that you could actually use instead of TickTick. Todoist is a good alternative, though I personally don't like Todoist all that much. But basically, any kind of notes app or to-do list app will do. A few situations which you might know in which you get random thoughts that pop up that might be useful are, for example, when you're taking a shower because you're not really Focus on anything and so your brain can just process everything in the background and generate thoughts and ideas. You might also get nice ideas while sleeping for example, while you're dreaming, in the gym or even while meditating. Actually sometimes I cancel my meditation or I interrupt my meditation just to write down a thought or an idea that popped up in my mind that I really don't want to forget. TickTick has a nice function where you can basically dictate your note. And so that's what I use most of the time. I just dictate it. TickTick also has natural language processing. So basically, if you say, go to the gym tomorrow, it will automatically recognize that you said the word tomorrow and then assign that task to the next day. You can also say next week or every week and that's just something that helps me save a bunch of time writing down all the notes and ideas. Step two is processing the information. Now, you have collected all of those ideas and thoughts throughout the day and maybe throughout the week, and now it's time to actually do something with that. The way that I do this is by using Google Calendar. Every afternoon, I take all of the notes and everything that I've written down in TickTick and transfer it into Google Calendar and assign a time block in which I will complete that task. Now I've already explained time blocking a few times on this channel, but basically you split your day into blocks of time and every block is assigned to a specific task that you will complete in that time frame. That allows you to keep your day organized, but it also allows you to keep yourself accountable. The reason I do this in the afternoon is because I want to clear my head as much as possible the hours before I actually go to bed. So writing down my tasks from TickTick into Google Calendar is part of my wind down routine every afternoon. And clearing your head helps you sleep better because you won't be thinking about what you're gonna do the next day when you're supposed to be sleeping. And it leads to less procrastination because you know exactly what you're gonna be doing when. Step number three, is actually completing the tasks and doing the work that you set out to do. The best plan and the best Google Calendar time blocking isn't worth anything if you don't actually do the work and actually complete the tasks that you set out to do. And I'm gonna be giving you a few tips on how you can make that as easy as possible. Now there's a great book by Cal Newport called Deep Work. I can highly recommend that book. I think that everyone should read it. In that work, he explains the difference between deep work and shallow work. Deep work basically meaning that you are 100% focused on just one task, basically the opposite of multitasking. You just focus on that one task for about one and a half hours and you don't do anything else. You have no distractions in your room, no phone, no notifications. You don't check your emails every 10 minutes. You just sit down, work for one and a half hours, and then you finish. The opposite of that is shallow work. You're kind of distracted. You're not really focused on one task. You're multitasking, checking your emails, checking social media, 
media, scrolling on, I don't know, Instagram for five minutes. Shallow work really isn't good for getting your work done, for actually completing your tasks. So what you should be doing, what you should be aiming for is one to two deep work sessions a day and preferably in the morning because you're more refreshed in the morning, you have more focus, your brain isn't tired yet. What I do is one, one and a half hour session right in the morning, right after waking up and depending on how much I have to do that day, I also have a second one after a short break, after having a coffee or sometimes eating something. So to summarize, you should plan your tasks into one and a half hour time blocks of deep work with no distractions whatsoever. Completely turn off your phone or put it in another room so that you can focus on that one task and actually get things done. So I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe and share it with a friend and I'll see you on the next one.